Good news for low income and $2,000 fourth stimulus check from Congress update 2024. Affording basic necessities has become increasingly challenging for millions of low-income individuals in recent years. Stagnant wages, rising inflation, and higher costs of living have taken a significant financial toll. While the economy overall shows signs of recovery, many remain in a precarious position, especially those relying on fixed incomes from programs like Social Security, SSI, and SSDI. Two proposals currently under consideration in Congress aim to provide meaningful relief that could make a real difference. This paper will outline the key details and potential impacts of reviving and expanding the Affordability Connectivity Program, as well as approving another round of direct stimulus payments. Reviving the Affordability Connectivity Program. The Affordability Connectivity Program, ACP, launched in 2021 with the goal of helping households afford internet access, which has become essential for full participation in modern society from education and employment to access of health care and government services. Under the program, eligible households received a monthly discount of up to $30 off their internet bills. However, funding only lasted through early 2023, and the program is now expired despite helping millions gain internet access. Lawmakers are examining allocating billions of additional dollars annually to reinstate and improve upon the ACP. This would mean continuing to provide monthly assistance to qualifying low-income families and individuals. Details under consideration include tightening eligibility to those earning 130 to 150 percent of the federal poverty level, targeting the program to the lowest income households. The monthly benefit amount may also be reduced to a $9.99 or $10 cap, while a smaller monthly benefit could potentially make the program more Out of reach without assistance. Reinstating ACP in any form would also have the additional benefit of reducing the ongoing pressure on certain internet providers to maintain their own discounted access programs in the absence of federal support. The impact of reviving ACP cannot be overstated. With millions already utilizing the program, continuing it would help maintain connectivity for vulnerable populations and smooth the transition to online education, work, and services. For those gaining eligibility due to a tightened threshold, it could open new opportunities. Overall, allocating billions annually would demonstrate the ongoing government commitment to internet access as a utility needed to fully participate in modern society. Potential fourth stimulus payment. In addition to proposals around internet affordability, Lawmakers in Congress are exploring ways to supplement the incomes of those struggling the most. One suggestion under active discussion is approving an additional round of direct stimulus payments, totaling $2,000 for all individuals receiving Social Security, SSI, and SSDI benefits. If passed, this would mean millions of retired and disabled Americans would receive a one-time $2,000 payment on top of their usual benefits. For SSI recipients, the average individual payment is just over $800 per month, with the average Social Security retirement benefit around $1,657 monthly. An additional $2,000 payment could go a long way for meeting extra costs. Proponents argue those relying on fixed incomes through the Social Security system have been especially squeezed by rising prices. The latest inflation data shows an 8.6% increase in consumer prices over the past year. Meanwhile, the cost of food at home has jumped over 13%, and overall energy costs are up over 25% compared to 2021 levels. The proposed stimulus payment aims to directly ease some of this financial strain. Critics may argue this type of targeted one-time payment does little to solve bigger systemic issues, driving inflation over the long run. However, for millions of beneficiaries living close to the financial edge, an extra $2,000 deposited in their bank account could mean paying off overdue bills, filling their pantry, or covering higher heating costs this winter without having to make difficult sacrifices. This would achieve new solutions are still needed to remedy ongoing issues exacerbating challenges for low-income individuals and vulnerable groups. But reviving ACP combined with another round of stimulus could deliver timely, tangible relief to millions in their hour of greatest need. 
while the proposed policy changes aim to deliver much-needed relief, ensuring effective implementation will also be critical to maximize benefits and overcome potential challenges. For the Affordability Connectivity Program in particular, tightening the eligibility threshold risks missing some households still struggling near the margins. Targeting assistance only up to 130 to 150 percent of poverty level could exclude mixed-income families where one partner earns slightly above the limit, but they jointly still have financial hardship. To address this, lawmakers should consider allowing eligibility to be determined based on total household income rather than per individual. They could also phase out benefits gradually as income rises rather than an abrupt cutoff. This would help maintain the original goal of universal accessibility while balancing fiscal sustainability. Communicating changes clearly will also reduce confusion that could deter some from applying who are still eligible under new guidelines. For the proposed fourth stimulus payment targeting Social Security beneficiaries, one challenge may be accurately identifying and reaching all those who could benefit. While the Social Security Administration, SSA, already has payment infrastructure in place, some individuals, especially recent retirees or beneficiaries who have moved, may have outdated contact information on file. This risks potential recipients missing out. To help overcome this, SSA should implement targeted public outreach including multimedia messaging, community organization partnerships, and enhanced online tools for address updates. They could also automatically issue payments to all current and recent beneficiaries unless they proactively opt out. This shifts the onus to the agency rather than individuals needing to navigate red tape. Technology upgrades at SSA have streamlined processes in the past, and similar investments applied now could maximize payment delivery. These programs also present an opportunity for private sector cooperation. Internet service providers could supplement government subsidies with their own low-cost plans and connect more households. Community groups and nonprofits could assist with applications and help coordinate local technology access through public facilities. Bipartisan support from lawmakers indicates political will, now execution of fair, simple eligibility, and an emphasis on inclusive outreach will be paramount. Overall, these policy responses to ongoing economic hardship demonstrate how government, private entities, and communities can partner pragmatically. By maintaining flexibility and problem-solving spirit, implementation obstacles can be turned into greater impact. With some refinement, programs like ACP and another round of direct payments have real potential to reach tens of millions deserving assistance. Now the focus should be on detail work to maximize benefits Americans so rightly earned through their contributions over careers.